The Adventures of the Falcon, starring Les Damon. Hello? Yes, this is the Falcon speaking. Oh, Doris. Uh, thanks for the call, but tonight is out for me. I'm working for a businessman who has killed off his competition, and the question is, did he do it literally? This is Ed Hurley, he friends, inviting you to listen to The Adventures of the Falcon. You met the Falcon first in his best-selling novels. Then you saw him in his thrilling motion picture series. Now join him on the air when the Falcon solves... The Case of the Widow's Gorilla. Now, The Case of the Widow's Gorilla. It's late Sunday night in the New York apartment of novelty manufacturer Raymond Orsatti. Orsatti is the stout middle-aged man who at the moment is opening a desk drawer in the study of the apartment, out of which he takes a revolver. He breaks the revolver, sees that it's loaded, closes it, and is raising it to his head when he hears a sound behind him. He turns to see his wife, Lois, standing in the doorway. What are you doing? What does it look like I'm doing? Give me that gun. Stay away from Please, me. Please, Raymond, let me have it. I said stay away or you'll really get hurt. Won't you listen to reason? What can you say? Business is ruined. Kendrick's got the best of me. There's nothing left. Are you just going to quit? Let him win so easily? He's already won. Driven me to the wall. There's nothing I can there do. There must be something. Bankruptcy. Disgrace. If you just stop feeling sorry for yourself and really work at it, you'd find a way out. How? Don't ask me. You're the brain. I tell you it's no use. Only other way out would... Hey, wait a minute. That's an idea. If Kendrick would fall for what it. What is it? Yes, it's a possibility. What is? What are you talking about? You'll see if it works. Have to figure out how to present it to Kendrick. He might just go for it. He just might. Well, there's the proposition, Kendrick. What do you say? Is that all you have to offer? All? Look, it's all in your favor. Everything the so way you... Sorry, Arsati. I'm not interested. But don't you see... It's not worth discussing. When you asked me to come over this morning, I thought you had a worthwhile offer. I can't waste my time on this. Good day, Arsati. No, Kendrick, wait. Perhaps your time isn't valuable, Arsati. Mine is. Good day again. I might have known he wouldn't be interested. I should have known. Why do I try to kid myself? What's the use? Dear Lois, it's no use. I knew that it wouldn't be, but I tried to pretend. I'm sorry about everything, but there's only one way out. You took the gun last night, but you didn't know I have another. Try to forgive me. Ray. Excuse me, miss. Yes? I'd like to see Mr. Kendrick. Hey, you know something? What? You look an awful lot like the falcon. Oh, it's the shape of my face. It's amazing. I've seen pictures of him. Uh, uh, will you please tell Mr. Kendrick I'm here? He's expecting me. Your name? Michael Waring. Yes, sir. Ma Ma Michael Waring? You are the falcon. Yes, yeah, small world, isn't it? Now, will you tell Kendrick... I'm going out for a few minutes. If a Mr. Waring comes, ask him to wait. This is Mr. Waring. Oh, fine. I'm not going out after all. Come on in, Waring. Right. And if anyone else comes, I don't want to be disturbed. Yes, sir. Now, Waring, I guess you wonder what a man like me wants with a detective. Oh, I wouldn't say that. Happens in the best of families. What happens? Needing detectives. Oh, oh, that. I uh, thought you meant murder. I wonder how you knew. Oh, so that's why I'm here. Yes. The police just left. You read about it in the paper tomorrow. What'll I read? I have a nice little business here, Waring. Been growing steadily the past few years. This week, I drove my chief competitor, Raymond Orsati, to the wall. Bankruptcy. Well, bully for you. Got a call from him this morning. Could I come right over? 
I went. Mm -hmm. What he offered was a merger. I don't need him. He needs me. Well? Well, I told him I wasn't interested and left. An hour later, he's found, shot through the head. Well, that's one way to get rid of competition. I didn't do it. All right, chum, all right. But the medical examiner says he got it right around the time I was there. But he was alive when you left. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Only I have no proof. But I have a theory, Waring. See what you think of it. All right. I say suicide. Was there a note? They didn't find any. But here's the way I see it. Osati knew he was licked and blames me. He decides to give up and shoots himself, but he does it in a way to get back at me. He kills, uh, he calls me on a silly pretext, waits till I leave, and then kills himself. Intentionally leaving no note, so I'll be blamed. Hmm. You don't buy it? Oh, it's possible. Who found the body? A Leonard Stribling. He arrived an hour after me. You know anything about Stribling? Well, I understand he's a bookie or soddy like the horses. All right, Kendrick, I'll drop around and see Stribling. You're playing a long shot, and I have an idea he's just the boy to quote me the odds. Hello, my name's Mike Waring. I'd like to see Leonard Stribling, please. I'm Stribling, the bookie... Look around you, Waring. Look around you. Can't you see this is a loan office? Oh, that's convenient. You clean them, lend them the money, and then clean them all over again. Get them coming and going. You huh? got the wrong Leonard Stribling. Didn't you find Raymond Osadi's body? So what? I've got the right Leonard Stribling. Look, I don't know what you want, Waring, but whatever it is, you're wasting your time. The law's had me on the grill already, and I'm clear. Osadi was killed an hour before I went up to his place, and I can account for every second of that hour with witnesses. So you didn't kill him. What's the chances he killed himself? Suicide? Mm hmm Are you sure there wasn't a note? Who are you working for, Waring? Insurance company? What insurance company? Well, Sadie's. He had a 30 grand policy, didn't you know? Oh, I'm just beginning. Tell me more. No. Oh. You tell me. Who are you working for? That's well, no secret. Kendrick. Kendrick, huh? Mm -hmm. Good. Very good. You like that? Uh, come on in here, Waring. Okay, and... Now, look, uh, Kendrick is in this kind of deep, hmm? So? Well, uh, suppose there was a note, a suicide note. I don't say there was, but if there was, that'd be all the proof Kendrick would would need that he didn't knock off Osadi, right? Right. A note like that ought to be worth a lot to Kendrick. How much? Don't ask me. Kendrick's the only one who can answer that, but... Uh, before he starts figuring, maybe you'd better remind him that he's not the only one who'd be interested in the note. Who else? Osadi's widow. Why, suicide clause? You guessed it, chum. The clause is in effect. If Osadi killed himself, the insurance is void. Meaning that Mrs. O is out a cool 30 grand. Mm -hmm. I get the picture. Good. Show it to Kendrick. He may appreciate art, too. Are you Lois Osati? Yes. My name is Mike Waring. I'd like to talk to you for a minute. May I come in? What's it about? Your husband's death. I don't want to think about it anymore. You'll have to go. Oh, I know how you feel. But before I go, I thought you might like to know I've just seen Leonard Stripling. What of it? He tried to sell me your husband's suicide note. What? Yes, Mrs. Osati. Stripling says your husband killed himself. And he's dickering with you to sell you the note so you can cash in on the insurance. That's a lie. I haven't seen Stripling. Well, then you will. He wants to get us bidding against each other. What's your interest in the note? Well, it could save me a lot of trouble. If you buy it, you're just going to wind up in a jam with the insurance company. What an awful thing to say. To suggest that I do such a thing. It isn't enough what I've gone through. You have to come here and make such accusations. I didn't accuse. I advise. Get out of here. Yeah, sure. So long. Marbury. Marbury, come here. Yeah, Mrs. Osadi. What's the trouble? A man just left, Michael Waring. You can catch him before he reaches the street. I want you to see that he doesn't get to Stribling. If he tries to stop him, I don't care what you do, only stop him. You understand?
Now, back to the adventures of the Falcon. Ten minutes have passed since Lois Orsati ordered Marbury to keep Mike from stribbling. Now, in a restaurant, Mike enters a phone booth and put in a call to his client. As he dials, Mike looks through the glass door and sees Marbury earnestly studying the pages of a telephone book and from time to time shooting glances at Mike that are meant to be unnoticed. Hello. Kendrick? Yes. Mike Waring. Oh, yes, Waring. Any luck? Yeah, you were right. Looks like Osadi killed himself. I knew it. But you were also wrong. What's that? You said Osadi didn't leave a note because he wanted you blamed. Uh Uh-huh. Well, there is a note. There is? So Stribling claims. So what becomes of your theory? Well, it's still suicide. But Stribling told the police there wasn't any note. Yeah, because he wants to peddle it to the highest bidder. Oh, but who else would be interested? Mrs. Osadi. I tried to talk her out of the deal, but no dice. She put a tail on me. What? Yeah, a flat-faced Joe who's making such a production of being inconspicuous that he stands out like an overcoat in July. He's right outside this phone booth waiting to pick me up again. What are you going to do? Have dinner. I'm hungry. All right, Waring, but uh, about that note, I'm willing to pay. I don't like being involved with murder. And I don't like blackmail. I'll go up and see Stribling as soon as I finish dinner. And the man who's following you? Well, if he's still with me after dinner, I'll call him on it. If he's as bad a liar as he is a tail, I should learn plenty. Chum, what are we playing? Huh? You've been following me ever since I left Osadi's. You own the sidewalk? Well, considering taxes, sometimes I wonder. You want to walk, you walk. I want to walk, I walk. It doesn't say somebody's following somebody. All right, walk. I'll wait here. I'll walk when I feel like it. You mean when I feel like it. Now look, Chum, I've been in this racket long enough to know when I'm being tailed. In that case, you've been in the racket long enough to be familiar with one of these. Oh, gun? Yes. We'll turn around. Go on. Now? Start walking. Where to? Straight ahead. Remember, I'm right behind you. Well, under the circumstances, I'm not likely to forget. You know, I'm sorry you're so attached to me. I'm really not your type at all. Maybe you have a point. Turn into that alley. All right, now stop. I have an idea this is the part I don't like. Don't like? You love it. This is where I leave you. That's where you want it, isn't it? Well, yes, but... Only before I go, I better say goodbye like so. All right, pal, on your feet. Uh, Oh, hello, officer. Come on, get up. Yeah, well, I'll try. Emmis can't handle it, shouldn't touch it. What? You heard me. You think I'm drunk? No, that aroma issuing from you is doubtless genuine attar of roses. What? Oh, yeah, he must have doused the stuff on me. Oh, you didn't drink it. Somebody doused you, huh? Now look, officer, I was sapped. Here's the lump if you want to feel it. Hey, neat job right back of the year. Maybe I was wrong. Yeah, maybe. What time is it, officer? Uh, a little after eight. Then I've only been out a few minutes. There may still be time. Huh? The thug obviously works for Mrs. Orsati. I thought I could scare her into tossing in her hand, but the strong arm act means she's shooting for the pot. That means I've got to work fast. What'd you say? She wants to beat me to a deal with Stribling. But if she gets that note, I'm cooked. When the gavel comes down, I have to be a high bidder. I've got to get up there. All right, pal, run along. You're not drunk. You're crazy. Harrison Departments. Callahan, 308. Just a moment, I connect you. Yes, sir. Now, what can I do for you? Uh, what apartment is Stribling's? I want to talk to him. I'm afraid that is impossible, sir. He's not seeing anyone. But he'll see me. I do not think so, sir. Why not? Mr. Stribling is dead. That's right, Mrs. Osadi. What do you want this time? The thug. Where is he? Thug? 
The character who followed me when I left here before. I don't know what you're talking about. You do know what I'm talking about. He didn't tail me here. He did tail me from here. You must be the link. Now, see here, Mr. Waring. Yeah, I know, I know. This is no way to talk to a poor, bereaved widow. But it so happens I've just been slugged by the poor widow's gorilla. And a thing like that doesn't put me on my best behavior. Now, where is he? Look, if you don't stop bothering me, I'm going to call the police. Now, don't bother. They'll be around. I've already talked to them. You what? I told you you were flirting with trouble. Well, the trouble's here. There's been a murder. Murder? Yeah, murder. And your playmate may have some of the answers on it, so where can I find him? How many times do I have all to tell right, you... All right, all right. I keep thinking you listen to reason, but I see you're determined to do it the hard way. So I might as well run along. I'm just wasting my time here. I'm glad you finally realized that. Goodbye, Mr. Warren. Hello. Oh, yes, Waring. I've been trying to reach you. I um, want to know what I owe you so we can settle up. Well, you mean I'm canned? No, it's just I don't need your services anymore. How come? Uh, have you seen Stribling tonight? Yeah. Well, didn't he tell you? No, he's not in a talkative mood. What should he have told me? About the note. What about it? I got it from him. You what? I have Orsati's suicide note. Got it from Stribling tonight. So you can see, as far as you're concerned, the case is closed. Well, maybe, Kendrick. But as far as you're concerned, believe me, it's just starting. Now, back to the adventures of the Falcon. It is 20 minutes since Kendrick told Mike over the phone about having Orsati's suicide note. And since he has the note, Kendrick thinks he no longer needs Mike. But Mike has different ideas on the subject, and he's gone over to Kendrick's to present them. So you say you bought the note from Stribling? That's right, Waring. I don't see why you're so excited about it. No? No, the note's conclusive. Unmistakably in Orsati's handwriting. All right, Kendrick. You've proved you didn't kill Orsati. Now, what about Stribling? Huh? What about him? I suppose you don't know that he was killed tonight. What? Good heavens. Yeah. You walk out of one murder app right into another. So it looks like my services are still very much required. You're not joking? When I work for Yox, Kendrick, I pull cuter stuff than this. What'll we do? First, a quick run-through to see where we stand. Like, why did you go up to Stribling's? I told you I'd handle it. He called me right after you did. Wanted to know how much I'd pay. He claimed Mrs. Orsati had offered 15000 I offered twenty. And you took it right over to him? That's right. When'd you get there? Around 7.30. How long did you stay? Five, ten minutes. Oh, great. You were there right around the time he was killed. Oh, no. The neighbors heard the shots. He was alive when I left. Yes, and was killed right after, 7.40. You're in a rut. Orsati and Stribling. Right back where you started, only this time there's no note. There may be another difference, too. Oh, what's that? It was known that I was up at Orsati's. Possibly no one knows I went to Stribling's. I know. Except you. Look, I'm scared to death of a murder charge, Waring. I paid 20000 already to clear myself of one. Uh, how much do you want? You save your pennies, Kendrick. I'll work for my 50 a day plus expenses. And if I can't clear you that way, you better have cash on hand for a good lawyer. You've got to clear me. All right, then let me do it my way. I'm going to make one last attempt at getting Lois Osati to talk. Oh, and you better come with me. I want to keep my eye on you. Why? Because Mrs. Osati has a gorilla working for her. And if she gets the idea you have the note, he may come calling. And take my word for it, Kendrick, you wouldn't enjoy the visit. Remember, Kendrick, let me do the talking. All right, Waring. Now, just one thing before we go in. Did you ever meet Stribling before tonight? No. Why? Oh, good. Let me... Oh, not you again. Yes, and this time I'm coming in. I, I see you are. What do I have to do? Just to... be your charming self. All right, let's get this over with once and for all. That suits me fine. You know Mr. Kendrick? Yes, I know him. He killed my husband. Now, see here, Mrs. Osari. Uh, I'll handle it, Kendrick. Mrs. Osari, I told you your husband killed himself. Now we have proof. Then Kendrick drove him to it. It was strictly business up and up. If your husband wasn't... Uh, Kendrick, I'll handle it. Sorry. Mrs. Osari, your husband killed himself. We have a note to prove it. You have it? Yes, right here. Uh-uh, don't touch. 
But you can see it's in your husband's handwriting. Where did you get it? From Stribling. You killed him for it. Who told you he's dead? The police were here. Oh, I see. Yes, they were here, all right. It's not enough I've lost a husband. No, no, all day long, you and the police and the police and you. Oh, that's too bad. You know, I could have more sympathy with you if you weren't involved with that gorilla. And if you didn't lie about your dealings with Stribling. I didn't have any dealings with Stribling. He said different. He was lying. I doubt it. He wouldn't have closed a deal with us until he'd heard your last offer. He didn't close the deal. You killed him. That's how you got the note. What makes you so sure? Because he obviously was killed for the note, and you've got it. Well, that's nice going, Mrs. Osani. But there's one hitch. What's that? Kendrick never met Stribling before. So when he bought the note, how do we know he bought it from Stribling? What? Welling. You mean that wasn't Stribling? Someone could have killed Stribling for the note, then sold it to you pretending to be Stribling. But who? Well, obviously not you, Mrs. Osada. You couldn't have masqueraded as a man. But your gorilla... I've told you. You told me you don't know the gorilla. But there's a good possibility that he's a murderer. Now, if you want to keep on covering for him, you may wind up as an accessory. I didn't have anything to do with the murder. But you did have something to do with the murderer. And if you don't talk now, we'll still prove it when we find him. After all, I've seen him. I've described him to the police. Now it's just a matter of time. What do you want me to do? Tell us his name. Tell us where we can find him. All right. But you understand I didn't know he was going to kill Stribling. Uh -huh. Stribling phoned me, said he had something that I might be interested in. I hired Marbury to find out about it, and that's all. Marbury? So that's his name? Yes, Jack Marbury. Right. But I didn't know he'd commit murder. I'm still not sure that he did. All I know is when you came, I ordered him to follow you. Later, he called back, said he followed you home. Home? That's what he said. And then he said he went up to Stribling's, but just as he got to the door, he heard a shot. Oh, he heard the shot. That's what he said. Looks like you've heard it, Waring. He was lying to her. He went up, killed Stribling for the note, sold it to me. Mm -hmm. Where can we find him, Mrs. Osadi? Well, perhaps if you try... You're looking for me. <gasps> Marbury! Reach, all of you. I saw Waring come in here, so I went around the back. I thought you might need me, sweetheart, but I was wrong. You don't need me. What you need is a good smack in the teeth. Waring is going for it. Yeah, now's my chance. Hey. Good, Waring. You knocked him out. But he's not. Not the one who sold you the note? I didn't think he would be. But you said... I know what I said, because I was trying to catch a murderer. And you know, Kendrick, looks like I did. Yes? Who? Now, Kendrick, it's obvious. The broken-hearted widow, Lois Orsati. Here. All right, send him in. Hello, Waring. Come in. Sit down. Thanks, Kendrick. Well, I got the whole story out of her at headquarters. Good. Uh, one thing I still don't understand, Waring, and maybe you can explain. What's that? Why'd she do it? The note was what everyone was after. Killing Stribling didn't get it for her. She wanted the note because she'd lose 30000 if it fell into your hands. Precisely. But Stribling called her... Told her you had offered 20,000 cash. Yes. Yeah. Well, she couldn't see topping your bid. What she'd have left out of 30 wouldn't be worth the risk. Mm hmm But she knew 20,000 in cash would be changing hands at Stribling's. So she went there with a gun to collect it. She figured if she couldn't protect her 30, she'd settle for your 20. I see. She knew Stribling would be in opposition to call Copper, so it seemed safe. Only he put up a struggle and she had to shoot him. Uh-huh. And just how did you know it was she? Well, first of all, I didn't think it was you. <laughs> Flattering. Why not? Well, you were just trying to clear yourself of one murder rap. I couldn't see you exposing yourself to another just to wipe out the first. Very well, you've cleared me. Uh, still, that doesn't prove... Well, you didn't do it. I knew Marbury didn't. So... How'd you know Marbury didn't? Well, because Stribling was killed at 7.40, and it so happens that at that exact time, Marbury was sitting across from me in a restaurant, keeping an eye on me. Oh. Mm -hmm. So that left Mrs. Orsati. Of course, there was the outside chance that the job was pulled by someone not directly involved in the case. But I squashed that by giving Mrs. Orsati a chance to finger Marbury. And she fell for it. Well, she figured the more fall guys she had lined up, the safer she'd be. But when she tried to place Marbury at Stribling's at the time of the shooting... That proves she was lying. Very good, Waring. Very good indeed. And now, uh, here's your check. Thank you. And I guess that's just about all, huh? Uh-huh. Oh, uh, just uh, one more thing. Uh, what's that? 
So what's the name of that cute little secretary of yours? Her name? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's Mrs. Kendrick. Oh. Well, as you were saying, Kendrick, I guess that's just about all, huh? So long. <laughs> This is NBC, the national broadcasting company.